And um, so we have tonight, we're going to do one, two, three, hi, one, two, three, four, four boxes and one package. And then I have things to show you and other things to show you. And we'll be going, going then. Okay, take a deep breath, Jackie. Yeah. It's been a day. <laughs> I've still got three boxes in the main office, so um, I'm trying to get caught up on them. Hang on, I'm going to let Steve handle this one. do these four boxes in a package and then I'll then I'll show you some stuff okay and hi mama three cat <laughs> um, and Nuki is it you that's going to do the I'm sorry it's so late are you the one that's doing the, the catetary is Nuki on yet okay thank you Nuki okay Oh, what are you doing, prisoners? Hop down there. Hop down. Um, this is a box still from days ago. So I'm really sorry. But it's something we like. And I don't see a paper, but I'll look again. We've got a box of 24 uh, meaty bits, variety. This is the one with the... Um, yeah, with the bits in it. This is one of their faves. And it's purple, so of course they would like it. So that's a 24 case of Friskies. And this is a 24 case of Fancy Feast, too. Both of these we need. So thank you, thank you. Do we know who did this wonderful gift? I would love to know to make sure I give you my thank yous. Yeah, please tell us, please tell us, because I want to tell you thank you. Well, whoever you are, you got a big heart, and I appreciate you helping us. And maybe somebody will let um, let us know who, who donated. Watch out, Katie. Box coming through. And this box, <laughs> this box has been with us so long, from like eight or nine days ago. I can't, oh, what a, what a sad thing. I have, that I've left this go so long. And the box has literally come apart. Zelda's sitting on it trying to hold it together. But can I, can I move you, my Zelda girl? Um, it's heavy. And it's upside down. And we got a paper. This is from Diet, our wonderful friend Diet. And they got, they have Diet's name on it. And is Diet on, I wonder? Thank you, thank you. Let's see what Diet sent us. We've got, oh wow, we got a wide variety of things. We've got a whole case of fancy, or uh, friskies. A whole case of friskies. This will help us restock our frisky supply. And we got a kitty! Also sent a piece of fancy feast, chunky kitty. Steve just came out. He's sitting on the steps. Where's your? How did you get there? 
real and fake. He had he had physical therapy today. And the upset. Oh, here's another case of friskies. Oh, these are the oh Dia, you sent quite a variety. They're all saying hi, Steve. Hi, hi You guys are missed not seeing them get up at 1.30. Oh, these are oh hey. These are the gravy sensations, and actually, when I was standing over here trying to feed our sick little kitty over here, I was looking for something with lots of gravy in it, and I couldn't find any. So, these have the gravy in it, so I will use that for four, not fur, but for the next, next feeding. Are you ready to join the rocket, Steve? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> he has to be good because all I have to do is take his walker away. Thank you, Diet. I'll use this for the kitties. And then she also sent, there's two cases here. Whoop. Ah. Can't get anything. Oh boy, this is good. We've got a whole piece of the um, tantalizing turkey flavor. That's good because we have we have not had that lately. And let's see what this one is. I think this is Temptations also. Are you okay, Fifi? Okay, she sees. Well, now she doesn't see real good. Fifi sees Steve foot moving. And, or Fifi, I think I said Cece, and it's kind of scaring her a little. She's trying to figure it out. And then we also have a case of the hearty beef. Thank you, Diet. Yeah, these are very useful. You guys know the cats love these. There we go. Now I can see better. And I think we'll actually put a couple of each in our treat box. Oh, do you want a little bit? Here you go. And we have an Octavia. I didn't know they had Octavias at Amazon. Oh, you old grouch. You know, Octavia did something interesting this morning. You know how on our back um, cabinet back there where we keep our, our food uh, that we take out of to restock this one we have a little system back there um, we have a lock on it and but if you pull on it you it still opens up about four inches and Octavia figured that out today and she was pushing her head in there trying to get inside there so we've just got a extra extra smart girl and then here we've got another box so thanks, Dia, for helping us uh, restock. <laughs> yeah, she is way too smart. Oh, here's something else. That's a good thing. Let's see, we got a white slip. Uh-oh, we don't have a name on it, though, but we have another case of a Fancy Feast. Sure would like to know who our Fancy Feast angel person is. It's the Seafood Classic. Do we have a taker on it? We want to say thank you. Larceny. <laughs> yeah, Anna Marie, yeah. That's how we get our larceny around here. Well, thank you whoever sent that, the Seafood Classic. I appreciate it. But hopefully somebody will come forward and, and let us know. Look, I, can you all see Shasta down here? She's learning Badu's trick with her with her uh, legs overboard. Oh my golly, Moses! This one is really heavy. Sorry, Shasta. That one feels heavier than just food. What could it be? We have oh. Now the kitties can not only eat, but they can go potty. And, 
Oh, this is from Renee C. I think I've ran across. Oops. Let me check and make sure that wasn't my mom then. Okay. No, it wasn't. Um, Renee C. I'm, I'm at a lack of trying to remember Renee, Renee C.'s um, cam name. Yeah, the Mario ringtone is my son Sam. So Renee sent a big box. Oh, Shasta, the cheerful girl of kitty letter. It's 28 pounds of the double duty arm and hammer. And Shasta, you better go over there and be safe. Thank you, Renee. Do we have our do, do we have Renee on there? Janie, <laughs> Renee, thank you. Yeah, we like that litter too. It's really great. Yeah, I, I think I've seen that Renee C name before as a webcam name too somewhere. But Renee, wherever you are out there, whether you're on or just out there with us, thank you for that. Uh, we also have from... Today's Friday from, I think it was from last weekend, this arrived, and I'm just getting to this too, but I didn't want to look at it or put it away until, um, until um, I got to open it up on cam. And I did see that there was a letter, but I haven't read it yet. Oh, I know who this is from. You guys do too. This is from the Warren Warren H family. They're the ones who adopted uh, Subra, Baca, and Latte. Remember them? Subra, ba Baca, and Latte. It says, Dear Jackie and FFRC gang, all of the kitties in the hall household got chatting about you. Be careful. We haven't forgotten you. In fact, when mom or dad are on the cam and we hear your voice, we come running to check it out. We still love and miss you. So we are going to team up and make mom and dad do another donation. Way to go, kitties. I, Subra, am, am still loving life here. My favorite things are still naughty things like stealing toys from the kids' room and taking them for my own. But they don't get mad. In fact, they've given up and donated a few of the things to me. Ha! Ha! This morning, mom tried to get me in the shower and found, or mom tried to get in the shower and found a toy in there. I love the shower. I also love whisker packets. I can get into the cabinet and steal them. They still don't know how I do it. I really am that good. I think that's what I'll suggest they send for me, from me to the kitties at FFRC. Some whisker packets. Oh wow! I wonder if Neil's listening because you know her, his cat, um, Shep or. Um, Vicky also uh, is a thief, I guess. Uh, Baca's favorite thing is the 12-year-old girl they call Lizzie. She is her main snuggle partner. Her second favorite thing, though, is called Purr Pad. They say they retain heat, and we all love laying on them, but no one more than Baca. Mom says the fibers are supposed to retain cat hair and dander, but Baca likes them covered with a fuzzy blanket. Mom says this defeats part of their purpose, but we have four of them out in the house, all covered with blankets, so I guess she gave in. So Bach is going to get them to donate a set of those. And that's the, um, oh, what did they call those? The purr pads. Okay. And then Latte, remember Latte is that, um, that torty, that beautiful torty. Latte doesn't socialize with us kitties too much. She thinks she is queen and is above our antics. Right. You should have seen how she sat on her perch and gave me the glare when I dumped the fish tank. Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway, she is a big snuggler of the people in the house and is the only one who will spend the whole night in bed with mom and dad. The rest of us have too much fun playing to do that. She is also super picky on food. She only likes the Friskies pate 
So that's what she would like to donate. Honestly, she's picky, doesn't play with the rest of us, and thinks she's better than us, but the people think she's the greatest. Go figure. The one play thing that Latte does get into are those mice. She catches them. She makes them flip all over, and Mom and Dad marvel at how she makes them come alive. Then she walks around the house making annoying mewing noises until someone notices and praises her for her catch. We've all heard that, haven't we? Some of these kitties do this, too. I think it's kind of lame, but they act like she really saved them. So she has to put a package of those in, too. Now, last but not least is Warren. We had a hard time warming up to him, but we're all good friends now. Do you remember Warren? Um, I think Warren was the last one, yeah, that they donated. Um, but we're all good friends now. He is the biggest snuggler ever. He gets away with everything because if they pick him up, he snuggles into them and purrs, and they forget any wrongdoing he committed. I need to learn from him. You already know he's into feather dusters, and man, can he make a mess. But Mom and Dad said they'll keep buying them as long as he enjoys them. Spoiled cat. His other favorite thing is treats, so he decided to add some of them to the package. Hopefully, we'll get the people to agree to this. Check the box and see if we were successful or not. With lots of love, Subra, Baca, Latte, and Warren. You, um, I know uh, Warren's mama had uh, put a picture on Facebook, it's been a little while ago, about him playing and um, literally taking apart those feather dusters. It was so cute. I got a big kick out of it. So let's see what they sent. Who's in the box down there? Here's their family. The bottom one is with their, with their family. And then the top one, the, or the bottom one there, oh my goodness, is them playing laser light. That's cute. They've got four good, good kitties there. Okay. All right. Latte, or Latte, Latte, fair kitty. So, let's see. Yep, here we go. We got the whiskers. And that's the poultry selection. And, oh, boy, i got to tuck everything in. I'll have to put that one in the closet because Octavia would indeed figure that out. So the whisk has made it. Oh, and the snackers. Oh, my goodness gracious. These are the great big six-ounce size. Those are the big ones. And, oh, there's the mousies. Here, you know what? You guys haven't had any new mousies for a while. You poor babies. Here, you want the mousies? Here, you want that latte? Er, I'm calling you latte now because you're, you're a tweenie. Here you go. Oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> Nobody said you were coordinated, right? And it's okay. And Shasta, of course. And there's the pate out Yep, there's the pate classic seafood. So the one thing that's missing, but not really missing, is the um, puff beds, I think, or the those um, snuggle beds. And they did fall out of the bag, and I know I have them. And i got to go in the back room anyhow to get a special cat to show you, and I'll grab those bags. So the, the whole kitties got their wish in sending everything. Oh my gosh, you kitties are crazy. Look at Shasta. What are you doing in there? This was sitting up and she dove into it. Isn't she the cutest thing? How are you going to get it? I love it when they take their curl, their paws and just curve it to get into it. Look at her. She's so smart. You're such a stinker, aren't you? Okay, down you go. And then we have this. 
It's from Lexington, Kentucky, but I don't even feel anything in it. Oh, look at this. This is, oh, this is from Tracy Hall A. Oh, this is from Socks and Clooney. Nothing makes our mama smile more than watching the kitties play. Enjoy the toy. Love, Socks and Clooney. Aw, uh, Socks and Clooney, look at this. We got the cat dancer. You know, this is, this is such an easy toy. But as you guys know, this is one of their very, very favorite toys. I'll put it up. On the back of this orange and red cabinet, the, we can pull the back part off just a tiny little smidgen. And um, there you go. That's me, the six of us. And we can stuff in the tip on this. And that's how we get it to stay there. So I'll do that tonight, too. I also have um, a few of the toys that's been sent recently. We got those put together today, and so we'll put those out tonight, too. And someone else also wanted the big tunnel, so we'll try to get all of that out here tonight. Um, got a few things for you. I wanted to read you this. A lot of you have seen the new webcam, or excuse me, the new web, website. And maybe somebody can pop up on, on the chat the new website address. Um, but back in December when we started having some problems and realized that we had to have our, our very, very, very own website, a really kind person had emailed me and asked me if we needed help. And at that time, we already have our current computer guy working on the new website but listen to this uh this email address email letter that he just wrote tonight and it's just so very nice and i'm thinking that the person who wrote this might be even on it says back in december we sent you an email offering our services for creating a fully functional website pro bono you replied stating that you liked what we had to offer would show it to our people, then get back with us. Shortly after that, your world got turned upside down, and we never heard back from you regarding our offer. Subsequent follow-up emails went unanswered, but we found out, out. But we later found out why. And with all that was going on, we ele elected to simply fade into the shadows, as you had found someone to assist. With all that said, we are quite pleased to see that you did find someone to not just fix your website, but to actually take it to the next level, as we had proposed in our initial email. Myself and my staff have reviewed the new site, and we are quite pleased. I just think that this is just awesome, that they're so complimentary. They hope you got nailed it square on, giving you pretty much what we had in mind. A lot more than what you had before and by far more professional, easier to navigate, and easy to comprehend. Please advise your new web developer the following message from all of us here. Job well done. Best regards. Isn't that such a really, really nice letter? So I did. I, mean, I emailed this to our new website guy. And I just think that is just so... Um, so nice that they were so complimentary about the new website. So maybe somebody can pop that up there. And I've been getting some emails today about maybe this part isn't quite right yet and this part. You can keep on sending those to us because we know that it's not all the way done. It's got, it's still got some things to do, but, um, but it's being worked on all the time. And the guy that's doing this is just awesome. He has put in Dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of hours for us at no charge. And um, his heart is so big. And he called me on a very, very dire night that I had and just offered everything to us. And, um, well, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes to know who to trust and who not to trust. But I just stepped out in faith and just knew that this was the right person for us. And he's just done an astronomical job. But I love that, that. It's um, very professional and easy to navigate and easy to comprehend. And I've told you guys before that the reason I love this web, new website is that I can get in it and do some things on it. Um, it's easy to do. The other one I couldn't get in at all, 
to do anything, and I had to depend on other people to do it. This one I can actually get in and, and navigate around in it, and so I'm just thrilled about it. It's got some a few more things to do, and, and I want to, when I have time, sit down. Somebody had suggested this to me, and I really want to do this, is to sit down and um, uh, write the history of FFRC. We've never actually done that. I've verbally said it a few times, but I've never sat down and wrote it out, and I want to do that. So um, when, when I get a chance to, I'm going to do that, and we'll add that also to the website. I think that would be kind of kind of cool. Uh, today we had an adoption, Bushka. I was gone today with my mom, and I got a phone call saying that someone was here, was interested in adopting, and the, and, uh, the kitty that they were interested in was um, Merci, our white calico. And then when I got back, uh, here, soon after that, the dad was sitting on the green chair over here with the baby in his arm, with his leg crossed, and Bushka sitting right here on his arm, on his leg, just staring at the baby and the dad. And I think Bushka must have been there 10, 15 minutes. And uh, so they decided that, that Bushka was the kitty for them. So I sure hope that that works out. Bushka is an awful nice kitty. She just needs to have a chance to be in her very own home again. Remember, she had been in a home, and um, she did very, very well there. The only reason they brought her back was not anything to do with her. So I think she'll do really well. Um, please remember to vote. A lot of you already know that the votes earn us money. And last year, on the fourth quarter, we did win the grand big prize. That's $5,000. And if we come in first place um, in the state, we get $1,000. We I have been juggling back and forth. Sharona, slideshow. Um, back and forth um, between first and second. But today we've slipped back into second with um, a little more gap there. So please, please help us. I think we, we still got weeks and weeks. But we have to keep our votes up in order to be able to win. And I know the I know all the rescues are so deserving of everything. Every rescue, <coughs> excuse me, that's out there is in need. Every every single one of them. Um, we do sometimes get excess of dry cat food and dry dog food, and we do help other rescues with that. We all try to work with a good. Um, um, networking with each other but of course it all boils down to the actual money in hand to help run the operational cost and um, things that are needed as you know for improvements so that's what what we do with that and um, I just just uh, ask for everybody to help us win by voting 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 and asking your friends your family your neighbors your email friends, anybody that you can, we would love to um, be able to have your votes. And, and we will always try to be worthy of every single vote that we get. Um, we try really hard to run this place as top-notch as what we can, not only for you guys, because we love having you guys be a part of us, but it all boils down to the kitty care. We love every single one of these kitties. We want to do the best that we can for every single kitty. We want them in good homes. Um, I am very super picky where these kitties go. And if the people that come in that want kitties aren't quite, you know, up to what we want, I'm not afraid to say no. I mean, these kitties will not go to homes where they're outside. We want these kitties to go into homes where they're indoor kitties, where they're loved, where they're treated as family pets and well cared for, will be taken to the vet's office. We just work really hard to strive to get these good homes for them. And so far, I think we do a good job. Uh, we know that circumstances change, that cats sometimes have to come back, and that's okay. That's We're designed to be able to take those cats back if, if needed. That's Shasta making all that noise down there. So um, we will just keep on trying, and that's what we do here. I'm here for the duration of this rescue center. I'm I'm here for the long haul. I said I've always said I'm going to live to be over 100, and I'm probably going to be 
doing this rescue center up until the very end. And we have dedicated volunteers that help us, and um, we just love what we do here. So please help us with our votes and help us um, with the finances on that. I've got something to show you. Shasta, you're kind of goofy. And uh, Little Weasley is down here assisting Shasta. Angie. Angie has made some um, posters for us with the kitty names. We've had these in the past, some of these in the past, and they've kind of gotten old over time. And so she made, she's made new ones, and this one here is one we've never have had before. Um, these are our permanent kitties, and we're going to hang this up on the wall. And this is what she's done that's really cool. It's like on Atta Jean here. She's made extra flaps so that we can continue to put pictures in. Isn't that awesome? And like Cutie, she's got the first ones filled. And then underneath, any of the volunteers or visitors that come and then they take pictures and send them, we can add those to them. But isn't that cool? She's got Putter. Putter's is sideways, so I'll turn his sideways real quick for you to see him. And then Bella. And then the two patties, patties get to share. Magenta, and we had a Jane with her crooked little head. And our little twinkle girl. And then, of course, our Asha. And then Cutie. So these are our permanents. And, and Angie was so funny. She says, oh, no, you know, she made a mistake because she forgot to add Sarah. And I said, but remember, fear is not a permanent. You know, she's she's doing really good. And uh, we need to start looking for a home for our fear girl. So that one's going to be hung up here inside this rescue center. <laughs> Who said ask fear? <laughs> Jeannie? Dina? These are our sun porch kitties. Our six. Um, <laughs> you guys are so funny. Our six. Um, out, our six uh, sun porch kitties. Pink is our gray boy, and Cliff has a sideways picture, so I'll turn it sideways for a second. And Zelda, you guys are too funny. Well, Fabio, um, she didn't get Fabio's picture in there, but Fabio will go here. <clears throat> and my old left boy, love this boy. He will. He's Fabio is gorgeous. And then Mew, is a Mew cute? And, of course, Big Al. And Big Al's already got a couple pictures in there. Look at those gold eyes that he's got. And then, um, so that's our six, what we call our sun porch kitties. And then, this is really cool. She also did a new and revised. And remember, these pictures are our pictures. These are pictures taken, <clears throat> taken recently by our people who we have full rights to use them. This is pretty cool too. Check this out. These are the, um, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got 16. Uh, these are the Kitty Cities. Yep, you got it there, Gus. Um, Kitty City and then uh, come April, then we move them out there to Cat's Cove until like November. So we got Honey and Soy Boy. Soy Boy is the one that gives me a run for the money. Sometimes he doesn't want to always come back uh, when we bring him back into the buildings after they run around a bit. Timothy and then Savon. Oh, she's got Sylvan. It's really Savon. We'll have to see if she can change it. Roland. Anani. You guys remember Anani? Our Flame Point Kitty that's in here, was in here. LaDonna and Oliver. Oliver is now, he's our only long hair cat that's out there. You know, and remember when I took Anani out there, I was really worried about how he would be. But they, he just fit right in like a glove. He just acted like he'd always been there. And there's Charlie and Riley. You know, our volunteer Becky that comes on Saturday night. She's the one who found Riley. 
Oh, I see what I'm sorry. I, I read that too fast over here. This is Sylvan. That is Sylvan. <coughs> I misread that. I'm sorry. That is that, that is correct. That is Sylvan. Because Savan is here. <clears throat> I wasn't reading correctly. Savan remembers the big girl that has trouble cleaning her bottom. We have to keep her shaved because she's so big and chubby. Sorry, Savan. And this is Buffy. And then Jonah. Jonah's probably one of our oldest out there. He's our three labor boy. He's so cute. And Muffin. Um, Martha L., our volunteer. Uh, she's the one who found Muffin. And Simone. Simone has one eye. And then Lily. And Lily is the one Dr. Cindy had found. Isn't that cute, though? She did a really, really awesome job. So we'll hang these up into um, Kitty City, and then when they make their way out to Cat's Cove, then we'll take them, take those pictures out there to Cat's Cove. Um, I got a cat to show you. We got a new cat in tonight. Let me go get him, and I will show him to you. Very carefully. Check this out. Well, you all know Emmeline here. But look who's in the basket with her. Siri. I have never seen Siri. Uh, usually she doesn't like them too close. This is a first. Oh, Siri, I'm so proud of you. And Emmy, you're wonderful. You are wonderful. Thank you, girls. That's good. You all see this door here, Toniel's Den. Toniel, some of you, do any of you remember Toniel? Yeah, do, Severin, you probably do. And Jack Cat, yep, you guys probably do. Some of you guys have been with us. Yeah, Kitty Cam, you would too. This is what um, Toniel looked like. And, uh, Tonio was really extra awesome, kind of, kind of on the same wavelength as what our um, putter 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 boy is. Yeah, this is a Tonio look-alike, and um, his name is uh, Sesame. His name is Sesame, and some of you might have heard some of the story because some of the volunteers was talking about him. He was found in the back of a big. Uh, semi-delivery truck today. He is. He's a big arm sucker. He's a big clothes sucker. He's a neck sucker, too. Um, he was found. See, now, this truck left um, Tip City, I think it was, in Ohio, and came to uh, Defiance, Myers. And when they opened up the truck, he was in it. And uh, hang on, and when, when I get done here, I'll bring that over. Maybe you guys can take a picture of that. You're right, Tonio, remember Pika? Tonio was really cross-eyed. And uh, this is exactly what Tonio did look like. Um, but this boy was in it, and he's no spring chicken. He's, uh, he's a really nice cat. He, had, he was loaded with fleas. His name is Sesame, and he's out there, of course, in Thumper's room right now. 
Um, I don't know if somebody's really looking for them or not. I don't, you know, we don't know what what the whole story is. I do know he was very thin. He was very hungry. He had fleas. Um, that's all I really know other than he made a trip. So when the people, the person found him, they put him in a box and taped it up because they didn't have a carrier. And then they brought him here. I know he, he I love him. He does, he sucks on your skin. He's not microchipped, no. But he's a doll. And he's not hes not a real young cat. He's got some age on him. So we'll have him vet checked a week from tomorrow when our vet comes in. Well, you know, Hencast, I've got Hencast's list of names right smack on the front of my desk. And I, of course, I will use some of her names because um, her name was the one picked for the 36 number uh, floor tile. But this guy, the people that found him wanted to keep his name. They named him uh, Sesame. And, you know, usually when the cats come in, uh, I usually do change their names uh, because most of the cats that come here uh, have a bad or sad, I should say, background. But these people, the ones that brought him, that named him, are the ones who actually rescued him. So I thought that that was appropriate to keep that to keep that name. Yeah, Potter used to stare at Tomio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right, Severin. Yeah. No, uh, -uh. no, um, but she's but uh, Hencast has really picked out some cool names. So. So we'll, we'll use some of those. He's just purring. So he's still a little damp yet. He still needs uh, some hair care, of course. We've got his distemper in, his bath, his Capstar, and his warmer. Um, and, of course, his test, you know, his leukemia, FIV, and um, leukemia. Can, can you hear him purring? I always wondered if you guys can hear. He probably, yeah. Yeah, I would say he's probably closest to a lynx, a lynx point than anything else. Um, he, he probably will stay in there for a couple days just to make sure he doesn't have any uh, germ bugs. Oh, I'm telling you, I could hold these cats all night. I love these guys. All right, you better say good night. Can you say good night? Uh, oh. Okay, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Come and get him, feline. Here's that purr pad that um, the Hall family had sent also for us. So these are really nice. I think there are two of them. Yep, there's two of them in here. We'll put those out for the kitties tonight. So um, you all do know that we have a sick kitty. Um, Annika is pretty sick. Uh, Ray, uh, Gina is doing just fine. Gina's busy, crazy, goofy, eating fat. Gina's doing just fine. 
and will be spayed a week from Saturday. But um, Anakin is pretty thick. She's a real sick cookie. Uh, we're working with her, been in touch with our vets. We're doing everything we're supposed to be doing. Um, then little uh, Jason is a little sick, but eating on his own. So he, I think he's going to be okay. Ah, uh, gosh, what are these guys? Without me looking in my book, I think they're like 12 weeks old, somewhere in there. I think that that's about what I put in there. Um, but Anakin's really struggling. She's struggling to, to stay alive, and so we're doing everything that we possibly can to keep her going. Um, hey, Potter. Hey, Potter. Oh, and <laughs> uh, Raina's, er, uh, I keep wanting to say Raina. Uh, Gina is right down here. Oh, yeah, they were found, all three of those kitties were found together um, in an alley in Defiance. Probably they were dropped off. Um, but uh, Jane is doing just fine. I mean, she acts like there there is nothing wrong with Jane. She's healthy. She's, she's just crazy. I love watching her play. She's here, there, and everywhere. And then um, our little uh, Jason, J-A-C-E-N, he's struggling. A little, but he is eating, and he looks good. He looks fatter, but um, Anakin is is really struggling. So we gotta gotta pull her through. So we're keep working working on her, on him. Jaken, Jaken. Oh, I've been pronouncing it Jason. Um, I think that that's all I have. I'm gonna scoot over here so I can see the chat, and let's. Oh, you're kidding. Patty C.C. arrived in Virginia and is now resting comfortably from his... Oh, he's in the United States. Yay, bra. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Oh, Jay... Oh, J hi, Tommy. How are you? Pronounce... So, Jacob. Is that what it is? Jacob, Tommy? Hi, Val. Yeah, your your Jaina girl's doing just fine. She's crazy. It's a <clears throat> excuse me, MSL. It's a it's a virus. Lovely viruses. I can't wait to have you guys all come on um, Friday. It's going to be a fun day. Yeah, it's terribly hard when they're sick. So we're we're doing everything that we can possibly do for her. Um, the kitties all. That's what I'm using right now is baby food for uh, for them, and they like the tur turkey or chicken. Chicken probably the best. Oh well, glad you're back, Tommy. Patty cakes, patty cakes. Is there something about patty cakes? Patty cakes is is doing good. Kurt Williams is doing wonderful. They love Curdy Willie. Yeah. <clears throat> um Yeah, I know I know he's working on that bandwidth thing. Oh, I'll I'll get that. Right, yeah. I don't think they even make um the baby food with the onion, at least not the meat anymore. They used to. They used to have the onion powder in it, but because, you know, the cats aren't supposed to have onion. And I, I don't think that they even put the onion in it anymore. Oh, Sunny, you th the two cases? Okay, Nuki, did you put that down? Those two cases were from Sunny for the Friskies for me so I don't forget. Potter, you take care of that. Did you get a screenshot or did I miss that? Oh, on uh, Sharky, her appetite isn't doing so good, but she's still hanging in there. Sharky, how old is your Sharky? I forget what you had told me. Okay. Oh, a screenshot of Sesame. Okay, that's good. Okay. 
Um, thanks, thanks, Severin and Nuki. Oh yeah, likes the purr pads. Already? <laughs> Who is that? Is that Tweeny? Yep, that's Tweeny. That's Tweeny. Right. Yeah, that darn delay. And I'm. And the baby is doing good. And the baby's doing good. Good. She's 21. That is just amazing. I, I don't you just love those oldster cats? That's awesome. 21. Tweeny, what are you eating? Yeah, I do too. I love those old ones. Pick up Gina. Well, she's scheduled for her spay val on the 28th. That's a week from tomorrow she's going to get done. Yeah, those purr pads are cool. We had one long time ago, and the cats really did like them. Oh, that's wonderful, Sharky. 19 and a half, 26. Oh, my goodness gracious. Ferris had her meds, yes. Ribbles is 20. Wow, you guys have had some old cats. That's awesome. I hope mine lived that long. For Anakin, thank you. Thank you, DeWitt. What are you doing over there, kitties? We love boxes here. You know, you guys, this day-to-day -day needs that we have, you guys are so awesome in helping us meet our day-to-day -day needs. 29th. Um... <laughs> What are you guys doing over there? You know, Val, um, let me think here. Night, Oxa, is that Oxalis? Um, Sharky, oh, that would be nice though, too. Yeah, I hope, I hope your Sharky pulls through yet. Oh, Cobbis. Nuki, did you get that? Is Nuki still on? Nuki, did you get that? That Coppice sent the three friskies? Thank you, Coppice. But I want to make sure we get that recorded. Nuki. Picture of Jonah? Yeah. I got to write that down in case Nuki didn't get that because I, I, I have a hard time remembering anything right now. Um, did you, did you get those, that though about Kavis, Nuki? Hi, Bet. Here's Jonah. There's another one of Jonah. There we go. <laughs> the whale, are you referring to Savan? Here's Savan. <laughs> and there's Savan. <laughs> See the Tunkamunka. In there, looking pretty pleased with herself. Probably wondering where the next bowl of food's coming from. <laughs> we think they're beautiful. Oh, the, hey, meet Nika Ross. Hey, yeah, bring them because that's see this, Nika. This is what's cool about this is like if you or somebody brings pictures, like a Jonah or a Riley. See all these extra pages. These are for us to add. Um, pictures if you guys send us any in that you've taken here um, we can add them to them so that's that's the purpose of why Angie did it this way which is cool isn't it see there's a few of of muffin yes that's right she's just big bone yeah so bring them on bring on your pictures we love it oh print out their story well their stories are on on um, the new website too, I think that it's on there. 
Yeah, they all have their stories, don't they, Kitty? Um, yeah, she's not fat. She's just fluffy. Well, I think that that's all I have. I just want to please ask that when new people come on, um, okay, cool. Um, just keep please welcoming people. I'm not on here nearly as much as what you all are, so I have to depend on you guys um, to to uh, welcome people and to uh, answer their easy questions, you know, about what we do here and why we're here. Just please always know that you're a reflection of what we are here, what we do. And um, I just, you know, just thank you for, for remembering that and for welcoming people. Good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that, Erin. That's good. That's good. Because you guys are you guys are on this way more than what I am. And <laughs> and uh, you guys always make me laugh. That's for sure. And they keep bringing you back, huh? Or welcoming you back, D-Line. They must be really nice then. <laughs> oh, you guys, you're funny. And you guys all have your distemper shots. I have to tell you one thing before I go start cleaning up. And... Um, that I think is so funny. The new website still is not 100% done, and there's still things that he's working on it, so it might come and go there. There's a dog behind me. Wait a minute. Did I read that correctly? There's a dog behind you. Uh, did one of my doggies get out? Okay, well, I'll go check on him. But i got to tell you this. This is so funny. Um... We've had people call up, and I've had this happen a couple times where people will call up and say that their cat or their dog is grumpy, so that so they want us to give them a distemper shot, and they think that you know we've had it where they think that that controls their temperament, and it's amazing that um, people have thought that. And at first I thought, well, how could they think that? But then you know it's a distemper shot. So we had that happen again last week, and uh, this fella called me. He was a really good sport about it. He said that his cat was just being crabby and grouchy, and so he knew it was time for the cat's yearly distemper vaccine. So I just always get a kick out of that. And when I told him that that doesn't have anything to do with the temperament, he laughed and laughed, and it was it was funny. Made made for a good time for me that day. <laughs> Maybe Nuki Master needs two of them. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to go put my doggies out. <laughs> oh, you guys are too funny. So, um, tomorrow morning, we have somebody, weather permitting, we have somebody that's coming to um, look at uh, Raina. Going to look at Raina. Is there really a dog behind me? Did one of my dogs get out? I'll have to go look because sometimes the door doesn't go shut and they do come out. Um, yeah, you know, one of the, what is it, three, three main things that kitties will pee on inappropriate. One of them are plastic bags, one of them is dirty laundry, and the other one is uh, bean bag chairs. <laughs> so, yeah, so we always tell people, pick them up, keep them picked up. So, Raina's going to have somebody look at her tomorrow. I would love it if they decide not to go with her, if they would look at Siri. I think Siri's an awesome cat. <laughs> so, well, I'm going to go put my dogs out. It's it's snowing. We're supposed to get a couple inches tonight. Hey, Bets. Let me see if I can find Cutie for you, okay? I know you like Cutie. Cutie. Oh, do you... Oh, I'm sorry. You want your bed, don't you? There. There. There you go. There you go. Right up there, big boy. Cutie. Hang on, Beth. Let me see if I can find, find Cutie. Cutie girl for you.
Here, is Bets on? Ba oh, Bets left. Could somebody take a screenshot of Cutie and put it on the Facebook? Here, let me see if I can get Cutie to look. Yeah. Oh, honey. I know, it's hard to sometimes hold that head up, isn't it? I know Bets loves Cutie. Yeah, that candle thing is awesome. I'm, you guys did some for my dad, and that just meant a lot to me. I I today, um, I, we've, I got a lot of cards today for my dad, and uh, I read every single one of them, and I appreciate it. And my mom, I took her a handful today of cards that I received here that have my mom's name on it or um, for my dad. And she sits and she looks at every single one of them. Oh, teacup. I'm so sorry about Molly. I'll look for Tilo here in just a minute. Um, Ma, her teacup, I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry for Molly, for you. Did she pass away at home, or did you have to take her in? And how old was she? Seventeen. Oh, I'm so sorry. For tea on, yeah, yep. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, there sometimes comes a time that we have to make that decision. Doesn't mean that it's easy, does it? Oh, the Sharona. Sh -sh Sharona, I always called her. Um, you know what? I'm really sorry. I would, I would have, I would have to pull up Sharona's um, record. Yeah, because I'd always have to think of that song, the Sh -sh Sharona. But she was adopted. I know that, and that she's doing good there. Yeah, I'm so sorry that you lost your kitty today. Yeah. No, she's she just uh, she had a cute Reba or the warbler worm in her little brain when she was a baby, and she does have some neurological problems. Uh, and now she has a licking problem, which we treat with some medication, and it helps her a lot. And Greg, one of our volunteers, loves this kitty. You got her when she was 11. Bless your heart for taking on an older cat. I love it when people will come in here and adopt something that's not, you know, a youngster. It's so nice. There you go, cutie. And Tilo. Why don't you, kitties, help me clean up? Did you find your bed? Good for you. Come on, cutie. You know, Tilo likes those rubber rings, or those um, plastic round rings. If I had one and if I clattered it to the floor, she'd be, he'd be right here. And today it was so cute, he took three of those plastic toys that he likes that cling clitters on the floor. And yeah, they're, they're about so big and they're, they're, they're thick. Yeah, like a baby ring or the milk ring, but they're, they're hard plastic so that when you drop it, it, Clatters, and he comes immediately to those. But he today he stored three of them in in one cubby hole over there. We watched him do that. He put them put them right in there. Hello. Well, while I'm cleaning up things, if I find um, Tilo, I will hold him up. And then we've got some new toys to put out today too, that um, came from your web cameras. So we'll get things ready. Right, 